people sure do love them some Waluigi. Waluigi this, Waluigi that. Give Waluigi his own holiday. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. So hey, yeah, why not? Let's officially make today Waluigi Day and check out some Waluigi fan games. Whether they're good or crap or whatever, if it's got Waluigi in it, we're gonna play it. This was your warning. It's never too late to go back. Waluigi's Taco Stand. Because whatever, right? Let's just start with something odd right off the bat. There's no rule against that, is there? Maybe in Croatia, but not on Waluigi Day, beach? I like the sea. So yeah, Waluigi's Taco Stand was a cancelled N64 game created by Masahiro M Miyamoto in 1990. Okay, yeah, okay, that's not true. This is just a ROM hack of Mario 64 with Waluigi replaced as the main character. And tacos, apparently! A game after my own heart! I always thought Mario 64 was missing something, and it turns out that something is tacos! Oh look! Waluigi is at the casino! Why? Wonder what he's up to this time. I mean, I don't know what he's got up his sleeve, but personally, I'm here for tacos! Hey Waluigi, your rent is due. Oh, excuse me, I didn't realize we were playing Waluigi's apartment complex! What's all this about? You can't pay up after you've lost all of your and Wario's money at the casino. This is getting kinda depressing. You have to work it off. I've got a job for you. Why don't you work at my taco stand? Alright, welcome to the taco stand. What do you want? Okay, so just to be clear, in this game, Waluigi has a serious gambling problem and gambles away all of his money. In turn, he can't pay for his rent and needs to get a part-time job at a taco stand. Alright, did I get all that? Great. So the main gameplay focuses around customers ordering a taco. You look at the ingredients and head out to the taco fields, yeah, the taco fields, and need to find them. Everything from mushrooms spread around a meadow, cheese being hidden by a mouse, and Goomba bacon. Mm-mm-mm, that sure looks tasty. And kinda messed up. So essentially, the game is just a big fetch quest, but it's done in such a unique and quirky way that it's always really fun. It's like, yeah, let me take your order, monkeys! I just gotta scale this mountain and kill some Goombas really quick. Speaking of which, no, I don't know what happened to your brother. I love the lengths Waluigi is willing to go to to make someone's taco. Hi, I want the full volcano taco. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> So we serve all the customers and the game ends, with the rent being paid. REDEMPTION! Now we can go to the casino again. Up next is Waluigi's Wadventure. You can't just add WA at the beginning of something and make it Waluigi. It's a Super Mario World ROM hack, which is great because I love Super Mario World. Waluigi has discovered that the stars can give you a right to make a wish, and his biggest dream is to stop being a loser. Aw, come on, that's harsh. And hitting a little too close to home. So here's the game, it's... It's Mario World. Yeah, this is one of those actually fun ROM hacks, with a focus on good game design and fun, as opposed to memes. It's really enjoyable with an original soundtrack and engaging levels. Waluigi can also wall jump, how's that? See, you're not a loser. Although I'm not quite sure what we're adventuring for again. Waluigi wants to make a wish upon a star, right? You don't really have to travel anywhere for that. Just look up. Ah, well, whatever. We'll let him have his fun. Just like how I'm having fun with this game. Waluigi Day is great! Waluigi 3D! Well, I guess if there's anything better than 2D Waluigi, it's 3D Waluigi! <laughs> this was not what I was expecting. So what we have here is a Wolfenstein mod, where instead of playing as the Wolfenstein guy, we play as the Waluigi guy. Walking around enforcing justice by taking out the evil empire known as the Luigi's! Listen, I'm sorry, man. I love you, but a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. You think you could just be in Smash Bros. without me? Take this! <laughs> 
Something about this is just so funny. Like, why Luigi? What did he ever do? He gets the short stick just as much as Waluigi does. Anyway, the game is just Wolfenstein with a somewhat new coat of paint. If you like Wolfenstein, love Waluigi, and hate Luigi for some reason, I'd say this game is right up your alley. Waluigi's Basics and Wa- and Wanders. Get ready to wa! Ah, uh, I'm sensing... I'm sensing a masterpiece on our hands. Waluigi time. Yep, a true work of art. So this is a fan game of Baldi's Basics and Education. If you don't know what that game is, then... Where have you been? It's an educational horror game. The horror being that you're in school. Sorry, wa is my word. Deal with it. Well, at least you're up front with it. I can respect that. So we need to collect seven notebooks and answer math questions for every book we collect. Three plus two. Oh man, you're really throwing me some brain busters. Once you answer all three correctly, great job. Time to collect another one. Okay, well, that's ten. That is also ten. And, uh, oh. I never got taught this math when I was in school. Oh no, I made him mad! Yeah. You hear that? That means he's coming, ready to spank us with his tennis racket! Yeah. No worries though, we can still collect these notebooks and get out of here safe and sound, yeah. right? You just gotta- Oh, come on with this! Daisy, I love you. But shut up. Okay, that's fine. We got plenty of time to find the rest and do some math. Yeah. Mamma mia. Yeah. Oh. I... Yeah, okay, we're screwed. Yeah, I knew it. And that's pretty much the formula for all of these Baldi's Basics games. I don't have the patience nor strategy to figure these games out or how to beat them. I just do math and run away hoping for the best. But every time, it's just... <laughs> You are the true villain of this game. Waluigi Maker. So I guess this is, uh... Oh. Oh boy. That sure is one handsome... Ew, come on! You're not gonna get any dates anytime soon looking like that. Pull yourself together! Literally, in this case. So remember Sonic Dreams? That nightmare cesspool of abominations? That's pretty much what this game is. Just with Waluigi. Although I wouldn't say that this is Waluigi anymore. Let's change his name. <laughs> okay, so it's randomly generated. I guess Wario plus Luigi equals God is fitting. But let's see what else we got. Wa 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 Luigi. Nope, that is too many wahs. Humanified Papyrus. I like it. Picture time. Let's capture this moment forever. Or not. Okay, so I can't click on anything except Waluigi. I guess I gotta do it. Ow. Good, great. I'm glad I did that. Throwing a Waluigi at my Waluigi. Okay, let's take a little break and check out something a little more peaceful and nice. Waluigi Adventures. The story of the game literally says, Waluigi has gotten himself trapped in... somewhere. Who cares? That somewhere seems to be a cavern in which you'll have to platform and explore your way out of. It's a very peaceful exploration game. Set up in the same vein as Metroid, you have a map to keep track of where you've been, and you need to explore new areas and gain new power-ups to find the exit. For example, there's a down arrow right here, meaning I'm probably supposed to duck and crawl through it. However, I don't seem to have that ability right now, for whatever reason. So I need to traverse other areas of this cavern until, hey, that looks like a power-up! Lo and behold, now I have the crawl ability, and can go through this area I couldn't previously. There aren't really any enemies, or difficult obstacles for that matter. It's just really peaceful. It reminds me of Knit Stories. For anyone who wasn't around playing PC games in 2007, Knit Stories was a series of exploration platformers, in which you took control of this sweet little girl Knit, and explored caverns, lands, and other 
other areas, it really was such a therapeutic experience, really calming and a genuine joy to play, and I get that same vibe from this game, which is really weird considering it's just a Waluigi fan game. But hey, good on you! And I think that's a pretty solid place to wrap up this Waluigi day. He's a wonderful Nintendo character that more often than not, does get neglected. So, I thought I'd do what I could to show some love and appreciation for the guy. Happy Waluigi Day, everyone! Celebrate however you can! It was definitely... wonderful!